feelings are a little bit hurt. It's <laughs> Monday, um, April 4th, and I woke up and I was like, all right, start of a new week. Let's get productive. I'm back in the gym. This is week two. And I was just like, I'm ready to conquer and just get shit done. I don't know if anyone else deals with this, but two to three days before my period, I obviously get super PMSy and just like bloated and all of that, the cravings, sure. But the sleep that I need. <laughs> Ryan and I went to bed at like midnight last night, woke up around 7.38, so that's eight hours of sleep. At 12, I was like, I'm gonna take a nap. It's 4.30. It is 4.30 p.m. But it's okay, the day is not ruined. This vlog, as far as this goes, probably is. No, it's not ruined. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vlog a little. I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym now. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in myself. No, I'm not. I'm not disappointed in myself. It's okay. I'm not disappointed in myself. We can recover from this a little bit. I was gonna make myself some coffee and then I was like, coffee at 4.30. I think I'm gonna walk to the gym because Ryan's gonna be off at five and he can probably just pick me up after. I mean, even still, I think I'm just gonna walk. I have on this cute top that is from Story, which is Katie Hearn's activewear line, and it's in a size six. And then I have on this very cute, very soft, fits me so nicely, Aloe Yoga Sports Bra. And it has like really cute strappiness in the back. And then I have on some Lululemon leggings. I've had these lines for ages. I think they're a size four. Then I got on Tala socks, white socks, and some Adida Ultra Boost, which I think are still covered in vomit from when I had a hypoglycemia attack the other day, which was really spicy, really fun. This company, Vela, V-E-H-L-A eyewear, sent me these sunglasses and I pretty much wear them every single day now. Here is absolutely everything that I take with me to the gym. We've got water, hydration, sunglasses case, my wallet, shout out to Ryan, it's gorgeous. A little before you go poopery, which I've not had to use yet, but it's nice to have just in case. Got some gum in here with, I think that's a Chick-fil-A receipt attached to it. A banana in case my blood sugar drops, which happens sometimes, um, especially when I haven't worked out in a while. I just need sugar to get into my system quickly so it makes the attack not as bad. Got some workout bands, little portable battery charger if my phone or my headphones are dying, and then some Curology chapstick. I actually really freaking love this stuff so much. My keys and some Bose headphones. I prefer AirPods, but I lost mine. I have literally no idea where they are. And this is not a gym bag, but I do use it as such sometimes. It's from, my mom made it, and Ryan also bought me this for Christmas. I obviously don't need absolutely all of these things to come with me to the gym, but I just try to be proactive on days where I'm walking or, you know, I don't know. Like if I'm just getting back into this, I'm like trying to create healthy routines for myself so that this is just more sustainable for me than it ever has been in the past. And I feel good about it. That's all that really matters. And I am definitely gonna walk today because it's a really, really beautiful day out. And I think I might just eat the banana right now. Oh, in my head, you guys could see me packing everything. Oh well. And off we go. to make some dinner and I'm trying to like incorporate as I said the things that I love like without completely eliminating them but maybe getting like healthier substitutes however as much as my trainer is trying to encourage me to like cut out fast food and stuff I'm still gonna eat that stuff sometimes I'm not gonna lie to you I'm taking a holistic healthy approach but I also want to enjoy the things that I love and what's great about her is that she is super understanding of that she is not pressuring me I just like if I ask her for input she's like well here's what I would recommend but let's do what works for you anyway I'm gonna make some pasta, use the Bonza Rotini chickpea noodles and the organic vodka sauce from Trader Joe's. I think I have some broccoli. Yeah, I have some broccoli that I'm also just gonna throw in the microwave and steam it that way really quick so that I have some veggies.
Ryan is gonna have some of the truffle pasta sauce in black truffle pomodoro, which should be pretty good. All right, here is Ryan's bowl. He has way more than me. I think I gave him like an extra few ounces of the pasta. This is mine. I added in like a cup and a half of broccoli, vodka sauce. So good, I'm so hungry. Here you go, baby. Thank you, baby. It's playing Elden Ring. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Oh, let me see. Let me know. This is the truff sauce? Yeah, I just did half a cup. Oh, that's fire. This Yay. is the, the black chickpea? truffle pomodoro. Oh, yeah, the chickpea noodles. Tastes, Tastes like regular just noodles. As good as any I know. Other. Thank you, baby. Of course, baby. Involved with fitness to the capacity that I was, I never actually made overnight oats. I tried to make them for the first time like last week and I just did not do the portions right. So I'm trying it again tonight. And I just found some nutritionist on TikTok who had majority of the stuff that I needed. I just did a third a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk and then I'm doing half a cup of quick rolled oats. I'm using the uh, Bob's Red Mill one. I really hope that these turn out good because it's very disappointing to like prep this and then you eat it the next day and it tastes like dog shit. Wait, a tablespoon? A tablespoon of maple syrup, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna... Some fresh berries for antioxidants. That was a gnarly sound. Okay, where's my cinnamon? Hello. Okay, add that in. Cinnamon. I really feel like this is gonna work. I feel like I did appropriate consistencies this time, which makes me very happy. There is just no better day than ending it with a clean kitchen. I also got some groceries. Tried to get some healthier snacks. I got some rice cakes. I wanted the brown ones, but they were all out. And then I got the caramel rice cakes. I remember I actually used to be obsessed with these back in the day. I also got these Cliff Bar Thins. Got my peanut butter, rolled oats. That's kind of it for the snacks. Let's see. Oh, obsessed with Daily Harvest, but I just got some California style vegetables to steam. And then this is where majority of the goods are. So again, right now I am seeking convenience. I got some Key Lime LaCroix for Ryan and I got these Waterloo Peach sparkling waters for me. I've got some Ezekiel bread in the back. Actually, this brand is called Food for Life. I got some ready-made shredded chicken, some of my favorite Vital Farms pasture-raised eggs. I bought these already ready because I've never actually really tried them before, but they're just zoodles. I remember this was like a huge rave back in the day, so I'm gonna try that out with some of my pasta sauce, some ground turkey breasts. We've got the overnight oats in here. I still need to add my berries to the rest of these. Got HelloFresh that we're gonna cook at some point this week. Got some turkey bacon, some more oven roasted turkey. In here, we've got fresh strawberries. This is kiwis from the other day. Some blackberries and blueberries. These are sweet mini peppers I've already had. And then I got some 50-50 mixed greens, green beans, broccoli, and zucchini. So I ordered all of that on Instacart. Oh, I also got avocados. But yeah, so that's my little grocery haul. This is like such a fitness-esque vlog. I know it feels right. It feels good. Now I'm gonna take a shower, finish this water. Oh, I didn't even vlog it, babe. When we got Pinkberry. Good morning. It is such a beautiful day. It feels weird saying good morning because this is probably gonna be the last clip of the video, but just made my iced coffee. I really hope this tastes good. Like I really, really do. Oh, okay, I get it now. <laughs> get it 
now. <laughs> so good. Let's see how it bite with the granola and the blue blackberries taste. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So fucking good.